Holes by Lou Satcher. One. There is no lake in Camp Green Lake. There once was a very large lake here, the largest lake in Texas. That was over a hundred years ago. Now it's just a dry, flat wasteland. There used to be a town at Green Lake as well. The town filled and dried up along with the lake and the people who lived there. During the summer, the daytime temperature hovers around 95 degrees in the shade. You can find any shade. There's not much shade in a big dry lake. The only trees are two old oaks on the eastern edge of the lake. A hammock is stretched between the two trees and a log cabin stands behind that. The campers are forbidden to lie in a hammock. It belongs to the warden. The warden owns the shade. Out on the lake, rattlesnakes and scorpions find shade under rocks and in the holes dug by the campers. Here's a good rule to remember about rattlesnakes and scorpions. You don't bother them, they won't bother you, usually. Being bitten by a scorpion or even a rattlesnake is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You won't die, usually. Sometimes a camper will try to be bitten by a scorpion or even a small rattlesnake. And he will get to spend a day or two recovering in his tent instead of having to dig a hole out on the lake. But you don't want to be bitten by a yellow spotted lizard. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. You will die a slow and painful death. Always. If you get bitten by a yellow spotted lizard, you might as well go into the shade of the old oak trees and lie in a hammock. There's nothing anyone can do to you, Rick.